Hello everyone. It's a great honor for me to attend this conference. My title is Q Learning Based Optimal Relay Selection for Swift Enabled Wireless System. My name is Wang Haojie. I'm a master's student at Harbin Institute of Technology and my mentor is Li Bo. I will give my presentation in the following sections. Introduction, system module and program formulation, Q learning based solution, simulation results and discussion, conclusion, First is the introduction part. Q-learning is a model-free reinforcement learning method that has the advantage of being simple to train and doesn't depend on the current environment model. The materials, wireless information, and the power transfer is a new type of wireless network that has received extensive attention recently. As shown in the figure, the SWIFT technical standards we consider are Time switching and uh, power splitting, TS and uh, PS. The main purpose of the study uh, are as follows. One. No work is combining reinforcement learning and the swift system relay selection. Two, the traditional grade method is not suitable for multi-node scenarios. Three. Reinforcement learning is an advanced method to couple with the, to couple with the changes in the network environment. Uh, here is the system module. As shown in the figure, we consider a two hopeful network with swift capability at the release and the destination node to simplify the problem. It is a simplex communication with no interference between the source nodes and the relay working in amplified folding mode. There is the program formulation. For the first step, the effective SNR received by the relay are this and this. Emotional 
is、uh, the EWGN emotional D is the circuit baseband noise. C key is the channel gain. Lambda is the power splitting ratio. PS is the transmission transmission power at the source. The effective SNR from the second step can be indicated as this and this. It is TS, and that is PS. MK is a factor of the selector relay. WK is the significance of the channel gain. Emotional K is the noise during this period. The user weight can be indicated as this and this. Where mu is time switching ratio, b is bandwidth. A binary variable is defined as a connection factor, phi n k t. The total user weight for multiple source nodes is this. Hence, the issue was instituted as this. Where The condition two expresses the fact that there is actually an upper limit to the communication rate of each source node. In order to satisfy the, in order to Satisfy the minimum energy substitution request. And what about the Q-learning based solution for Markov decision process? It consists of a quadruple. M state action transition and、uh, reward. For state, we use three param parameters to indicate the connection congestion. And、uh, task level. We use separated numbers to indicate the relay selection. The transition is very simple. The reward function is being defined as this. 
it is a little different different between this. It is the Kuranian algorithm. It is based on emotional greedy strategy. We can update Q value from this. Some of the parameters of the simulation can be seen in the table. We set up five different releases, one of which has the best quality. It is the best release. We first observed the change in strategy for single source node. When the congestion probability of the best relay increase, q starts to change the strategy to select the non-congested relay. The result of another experiment is the title throughput, and it can be seen that the traditional algorithm is able to obtain the current optimal relay, but can't solve the congestion situation. As the number of source nodes increases, the gap between the two methods gradually increases. That is why we use Q-learning. At last is the conclusion. We established an intelligent relay selection strategy for multiple source nodes in a swift system. Reinforcement learning has two major advantages over grading strategy. The first is the ability to interact with the environment in pursuit of a greater reward. And the other is the ability to rationally allocate resources as in our experiment. After a period of training, the best relay is not only not wasted, but also solve the tasks with as high a priority as possible.
That's all. Thank you, everyone.